name's Cumberland. I'm a physiotherapist here at Advanced Rehab Centre. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the High Level Mobility Assessment Tool, or the HIMAT. So the HIMAT was created in 2005, down in Melbourne by a physio called Gavin Williams, when he recognised that there was no outcome measure available to assess high level motor function following brain injury. So he noted the importance of people being able to take a few steps faster than a walk, such as to get out of the way of a moving vehicle. Although the HIMAT is validated in chronic TBI or traumatic brain injury, it's also valid for other conditions such as stroke and Parkinson's disease. For your clients to be assessed using the HIMAT, they need to be able to walk or mobilise 20 metres independently without any gait aids, but with or without orthoses. So to complete the HIMAT, the equipment that you need is a 20 metre walkway, a house brick or a similar sized object, 6 to 14 stairs, a pen and a copy of the HIMAT tool, as well as a tape measure. So I filmed the completion of the high mat with one of my new clients. He was in a motor vehicle accident about 20 years ago. He's currently very high functioning and his goal at the moment is to be able to return to running around the oval with his boys. Let's have a look at how we did. Just a quick reminder that the high mat is a high level mobility assessment tool. So if there are any items that you or your client aren't comfortable performing, then it's best to leave those for that day. The 13 items are determined on a 5 point scale, with 0 being the lowest and 5 being the highest. The items are then summed for a total score out of 54. So if your clinic has more than 6 stairs, maybe not 14, you can still perform the stair items and then just use a conversion factor, so divide the time by the number of stairs that they performed and multiply by 14 to make it the same as the high mat, or you can complete the 8 item version of the high mat which doesn't include the stair items. The minimal detectable change is an increase of 4 points or decrease of 2 points on the total score. The HIMAT has excellent test retest reliability and inter-rata reliability for both the full and 8 item versions. The HIMAT has adequate to excellent concurrent validity when compared to the motor FIM and the gross function river mean motor assessment respectively. The HIMAT was found to be more responsive to change in high level mobility than the gross function river mean motor assessment or the motor FIM. So the main take home messages for today, number one, the HIMAT is a valid, reliable and responsive outcome measure. And number two, to consider using the HIMAT for your clients who are able to mobilize independently over 20 meters. Even if their goal isn't to return to running, it'll give you information about how they're progressing and whether or not your treatment is effective. Thanks for listening.